Welcome one and all, whoever may be watching this, Day of the Diver Part 20. Sorry, there'll be a bit of a delay there. I just forget that this game pretty much goes straight into the menu page. So I was just checking something and then suddenly heard the music and was like, oh no, it started and I haven't. <laughs> so anyways, let's jump into this. Okay, so uh, let's go uh, to the farm. Apparently I have to plant more rice. Oh no, okay, so there is already rice. Cool, so we just have to keep an eye on it. Perfect. I'm assuming there's other plots there which will grow other things at some point. Uh, do you sell, yes, these, the things that I need for the tuna? Maybe what I'll do is go see the sea people. That can be the morning. And then maybe in the afternoon we can see about catching some more tuna. Depending on how all of this unfolds. Long time no see, Dave. I wanted to tell you that I'm back in the restaurant business, but couldn't find your number. <laughs> the famous local dish of the village, Mima's seaweed dumplings. The dumpling skin is tight enough to maintain its form even in the water. You should try some. How am I supposed to eat it underwater? <laughs> Why don't you try one now? I'll make you a special version. I'm always down for the delicious food. It's really delicious. I feel like I'm energized. Oh, it's not just a feeling, it actually energizes you. Each dumpling contains different stuffings, so take your pick. Oh, the effects of seaweed dumpling dissipates when you leave the water, so visit me whenever you need the effect. See you around, Dave. Oh, I get it. I can come shop here and it'll give me perks. I get it. You don't have to explain it to me three different ways. Okay, where are we going to uh, do the thing with the peeps and the stuff? Where am I meeting the dude at? Oh, you have returned, human. The abandoned cave is an old abandoned sea people's storage. The glacier passage key is in that place. Suan will guide you, Godspeed. Ah, oh, I thought you fled, human. Suan, the best warrior of the sea people, will guide you to the place. Follow me. So he'll take me to the place, but he won't go with me into the cave, I'm assuming is how this works. Yeah. 
Here, human, go bring me the glacier passage key. Mm. So dreary and dark. Why is this place locked anyway? Oh. I'm not sure. I heard stories about some crazy sea people locked up there somewhere, though. Oh. I heard the insane ones attack the other sea people. Oh. But that was like a thousand years ago. Sea people only live about 300 years, so don't worry. Okay. Uh, I'm nervous. Are you coming with me? Yeah. I am the best warrior of my people. You want me to do such a mundane task? Oh. I will stay here and protect the area. Hurry up and bring me the key. Yeah. I knew you wouldn't go in. Oh. It's hidden in one of the deepest areas. Look for a room with a mural. Let me know when you're ready, human. Alright, I really want to get uh, the actual gun that I would like to use. <laughs> I don't even know where to find guns from. Well, I mean, like, I do. America. But, um, you know. In this game... Where is a crate that will have what I need? Actually, and I guess getting some supplies probably wouldn't hurt. Oh, hello crab. Don't mind me. Uh, sure. Unless I just assume maybe there'll be stuff in there that we can collect. Let's just go with that. I don't really have anything else to go off of right now anyways. Where did all these crabs come from? Yeah, okay. Let's just... Oh, uh, maybe... I don't know if I need a UV light. Let's just take it anyways. Oh, yep. No, go away. You are the most annoying of the fish. Are you ready to enter human? Yes, I'm ready. Oh, it's cold. The key should be deeper inside, a room with a mural, if I remember correctly. Well, we are going off your memory, Dave, because mine is atrocious, so please, please remember. Yeah. What a cute sea broom. It must have come through a small crack. Holy cow, what was that? The ancient sea people Suam talked about. They're still alive? It's fortunate that they are locked behind the cells. I should not draw their attention. Oh gosh, how are we going to have to do this though? Okay, I think my dreams of being able to get things are dashed to pieces right now. Do 
Jeez, if I have to go into battle and... Oh, that's a mural. This must be the room Suwam talked about, where the mural is. But where is the key? This picture seems to imply something. They have to be stacked on top of things. Yep, okay. Not the most difficult puzzle I've had to do. But I won't complain. Oh, and I oh gosh, okay. I appreciate that they glow when I'm doing it right, too. Some nice positive affirmation right there. The device. That must be the glacier passage key. What a creepy place. I'd better pick up the key and quickly leave. Are we going to have to, like, get out of here? At last, playing that artifact hunting adventure game pays off. The movie was not that great, though. Shall I return to the Sea People Village now? I didn't think it was going to be that simple. Oh no, another earthquake! I heard something crumbling, uh oh. Okay, so are we sneaking past them or just swimming for my life? Am I going the way that I came? I guess not. No, the exit is blocked. And now the sea monsters have come out. I must avoid them without getting caught. Oh, but why? Why does this have to be a thing? Okay, uh, no guns or knives can kill them. Escape the cave without being spotted. I'm going to be here forever. We'll just have to take it slowly, I think. Well, where did he come from? Mm, I don't think I can pass here. What if I hide behind the stone statue over there? I'll go unnoticed. For realsies, hide behind the stone statue to avoid being seen. No, I have not taken my finger off that control. Do not ruin things for me right now. Nope, nope. I think that's the poor Bluetooth connection with my mouse. Oh, I've taken it off. Okay. 
My mouse is like, I will not do what you want me to do. Here okay, go. Go. Uh, okay. Bit of Tomb Raider for us, I guess. Yikes. Is he going to come all the way? Yeah, I know, I'm sorry, you're getting a bit murdered, but I just... Uh, I'm trying to figure out how to do this, okay? If I hide down here, do I need to go down here? How do I get out of here? Just go, get out, don't stop, Dave. Just go. Go. <laughs> but I knew Sue Arm was not going to wait for me. Anyway, I got the key. Now I must return to... Oh, excellent with my trank gun. Wait! You're robbing graves now, as if destroying the environment was not enough. Huh? That is the sea peoples. Be quiet. Whoever harms the great sea will have to contend with sea blue. And the wrath of I, John Watson. Feel my eco-friendly sea blue armor RX-93 and its power. Ah, nice, excellent. You are an environmental disaster. You're gonna pay now. Okay, I am possibly gonna need a better weapon. No amount of words can save that thick skulled moron. That suit looks very tough. No bullets will penetrate it. Yeah, okay, what am I supposed to do about that? Ugh. Even my armor can't negate the firepower of my hyper blaster. That was a nice trick, but this will end now. Oh, come on. For what it's worth, here's a baseball bat. Ah, uh, no. Where's E? Oh gosh, yep. I'm not doing so well right now. I need more O2, but oh, he's just right on my tail. I kind of wish in these situations it was just like an insta pick up for stuff. The missiles are slowing down. Mm. If only I could direct it at him, I but I am. Is there anything that can deflect the missiles? 
Oh. Okay, phase three, I'm assuming. you do. Sometimes you just need oxygen, am I right? Oh gosh, hello. What do I do if I run out of O2? sort of get luring him into that but I'm not doing a great job with it. Oh shivers. I am about to die. What do I do in this situation? I've used up all the O2 that was here. two things of O2, what am I supposed to do about this?
My eco-friendly sea blue armor RX-93 is... I can't forgive you destroying nature. <laughs> Watching you... You are tenacious. He was wearing high-tech diving gear. Should I bring it to Cobra? He may find useful parts out of this. Whew, that was rough. It took me a good three attempts. Mostly because towards the end there I just would run out of O2. Uh, yep. Cool. Oh, you actually brought me the Glacier Passage key! Suam told me that he cleared the area and the key is free to be picked up, but I guess it took you some time? Uh, I almost got eaten by nasty sea monsters. Are you telling me you've seen Gaddens? Are they still alive? Gaddens? Oh, this is a dark history of the sea people. You want to hear it? I have a short version and a long version. Oh, short, please. Which one do you want to hear? Absolutely the short one. The Gaddens are a corrupt sea people of ancient times. That's it? In short, yes. You want a longer version? No, 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 no. Okay. Good, I'm going to tell you the story of the Gaddens. Wait, no, I said not. About 800 years ago, the Gaddens were at the pinnacle of their civilization. Our ancestors had many devices far more technologically advanced than that of the humans in the old days. These advanced technologies allowed them to live in peace and prosperity. It was all possible due to the divine tree fruits. These fruits provided the perfect balance of temperature and energy, and they lasted so long. The fruits that could only grow in the deep sea were like a blessing to our ancestors. However... There are always those who are blinded by greed. Dasesh, one of the senior technicians, wanted to apply the powers of the fruits beyond mundane purposes. He processed the food secretly and used them to modify the anatomy of the sea people. He modified the bodies of your ancestors? Yes, it all went well in the beginning. Modified individuals exhibited strength far exceeding that of ordinary sea people. But Dashe was not satisfied with modifying the fruits and wanted to go further. He wanted to extract energy directly from the divine tree. To do so, he began to infuse the extracted energy into an ancient creature called Yawi. Well, I don't understand everything, but it definitely sounds dangerous. Did King Long know about that? At that time, King Long was busy with the task of building the control room to ensure a steady supply of resources from the tree. He was puzzled at the increased performance of the workers, but he had no clue what was going on. Then one day... Hey, those are Anomalocaris. The bodies of those infused with the energy of the tree began to exhibit weird changes. Their body turned pale and their limbs twisted. They became so violent that they began to attack the other sea people. So they are the monsters I encountered earlier. Fortunately for us, the mutated ones hate light, so they don't come near the village. 
King Long himself went into the control room, captured the Gaddens, and locked them up in the abandoned cave. In the course of suppressing them, King Long suffered fatal wounds and later died. But it happened about 800 years ago, and I didn't even know the Gaddens were still alive. That means, maybe... Some of them may still be roaming the Glacier Passage. And you're expecting me to go there? I beg you, the sea people have been weakened by our ranching lifestyle. <laughs> right now, you are the only one we know who can help us find the cause of the earthquake and temperature rise happening in the glacial area. Oh, okay, fine. Thank you, human brother. Oh, and take this, it is my gift for you. Here, take this sea people's necklace. Wear this and the chew worms in the deep will retreat. You know those strange worms that look like sticks. That's it for now. You must be tired. Have a good rest and meet me tomorrow. I will tell Suwam to guide you to the entrance of the glacier passage. Okay, this may or may not be two separate videos, it just depends um, how quick everything goes from this point onward. I just want to go home, please. <laughs> I think this is enough of being underwater for me.